This is Art Studio 10 and uh, I've been working on the painting behind me um, in between and uh, I'm filming this, this, this on a Fujifilm X-T20 with a vintage lens which is the uh, Pentax SMC uh, 50mm uh, by 2 and um, I've got it in focus I sort of set up my focus in advance um, so it's interesting to try these different things uh, I've also got a monitor here which is just down here I can see it just there uh, attached through the HDMI uh, cord and it's an old uh, TV really but it allows me to see all the detail on the screen um, of what's on the back of the camera it, it tells me I can see whether I'm in focus or not so it draws a red line around my face um, I can see uh, the exposure, the amount of time that I've got left to film and various things like that. But this is not the only thing I do in the studio. I often play guitar and um, record myself and do that sort of thing. So I thought I'd try something here. I've got in front of me here just some um, words of a song I've just been working on. So we'll give that a go and see how it sounds. Um, I'm not recording off the top of the uh, camera this time. I've got an independent recording source here which is a Zoom H1 which is a nifty little sort of recorder so I thought I would try guitar in this case and we'll see how we go so I'm still working on this so we'll see how we go trying to get the feeling of how you want it when you've got a camera in front of you and recording is always very hard so I've just got to forget that you're, you're there really and just sort of move into the feeling of it so I've just been practicing it before and my throat is getting a bit sore so um, that's something I've noticed as I'm getting older that, um, that my throat gets stretched pretty easily. Meaning what? Take what you can Look for yourself Supervision Strange desires pin them down, pass them around. Well, that's that's a go. We're trying. Take what you want, West End culture. I blame everything. Driving a car out on the beat, blue and black lights, super highway. All your games, throw them away. See you shrink, shrink them up. Take what you want Western culture I Blame everything Western culture My throat is about to break <coughs> So I'll try that again at some point uh, When my throat's not so sore So that's just the start of that song and quite often I'll take that across to my uh, computer there and record it and get a better sound and try to do it with my throat it's a bit better anyway so uh, what I'll do is readjust the camera here and just show you where I'm up to on this painting and um, I've got all these things to look at here so I've got to remember to look over there and um, it looks like I'm in focus there's a red line around my face which is great I've got a light source here too which is the opposite on the camera on the uh, monitor because everything's opposite you see so I've got a light source here the camera's directly in line with me here um, I've got a source to read uh, the words here I've got the microphone here and um, hopefully it'll turn out it'll be interesting I've got the camera set to a Velvia setting which is uh, give you lots of bright color and I wanted that for the painting here and you can see the painting's a bit out of focus I know I should be in focus so it's pretty interesting stuff um, 
it says on the uh, monitor here because I can see what's going on on the camera here it says that I've got uh, seven minutes uh, well almost eight minutes left of recording time and I'm recording it in uh, 1080p at 24 frames per second um, which is good um, not that good for fast moving objects you'd want to bump up the speed a little bit but um, good for this type of thing where I can get a more of a softer look instead of a hard sort of digital look uh, when you, you you film at 30 frames or 60 frames per second and the, the file size is uh, a little bit smaller as well so anyway I'll stop that now and we'll see how it goes well um, here we are and uh, you can see that I've started adding a lot of uh, green um, this was a uh, particular color that I picked. I pre-picked the colors actually for this but they will they, they might change over time and I was saying in the last video that this green that I've got in here which is actually called midnight blue but it comes up very green on here uh, and it's mixed with titanium white and then some of it's just straight from the tube which is just uh, here if you can see it I'm trying to get into the lens here I haven't got the monitor on this time so uh, we'll see uh, if I'm in but the thing is that um, I wasn't so sure if I liked it, but I thought, well, uh, to be consistent, to make the surface consistent, I'll cover the whole thing and work it as if I like it, and we'll see how it comes along. And what I'm noticing is that it's starting to zing a little bit. It's starting to um, work with the colours. Um, so we'll get it all covered, and um, I'll put the camera right back in a minute so you can see the whole thing and see where we're up to. Um, I would treat this as a uh, like it's an, in the undercoat stage at the moment um, like I'm building it up because quite often I'll add layers to it and then start working on the texture and, and redefining some of the shapes and colors so at the moment it's just getting paint on the surface we've got some ideas set down we've got a, th a theme of sorts happening in a design and style and then we want to enhance it and see where that goes and see where it, what turn it into art in some form and also uh, also I've got to make it more and more like a landscape so landscapes have that aerial perspective type of thing and you also see, see value changes right through on a painting and in the landscape so I'm going to do that here it's going to be lighter at the top and dark at the bottom so it sort of gives you that sky to ground look and that'll be with these floating shapes on top so uh, that's where the landscape will come in will be in the graduation and uh, we'll work on that so I'll put the camera back so you can see the whole thing and I better do it soon because the battery is flat okay okay so well uh, this is the full painting here um, I'll have to get right back because um, I know from this distance um, with this focus that um, I'm likely to be out of focus but we'll, we'll, we'll try it. I'm trying to keep the same lens for the whole shoot which is that 50 millimeter lens um, and I know it's got um, to pick up all the light in here I've had to adjust that aperture so it gets as much light but when you do that your, um, your, your range of focus shrinks you know so I've got a light source over here as I had before but I keep on moving that around and you can see the full painting here and how I'm slowly working on it it's a bit lighter at the top and it's getting darker at the, at the bottom and um, I've got two recording sources here as well I've got a microphone here that's tracking me and the one on the camera which is going to have difficulty at this distance but uh, it'll pick up a lot of room sound and all that sort of thing uh, anyway this is uh, art studio number 10 and uh, it's a bit of fun and you're seeing the progress of this painting and you can see that I play the guitar as well and do things like that. So that's it for now and uh, hopefully all this recording is working. Bit of a bang there. There we go. All right.